in the last video we created a um, script to identify the number of empty um, positions around a source. In this video we're actually going to implement a um, sort of generic uh, harvest energy call that we can use for each one of the different roles. So here's our code right now for the find energy source and that is what we're calling right now in these uh, different roles. Um, so I have this in a semi-workable state, but I'm actually going to copy it all over into uh, the creep functions tab. So creep prototype dot harvest energy equals function harvest energy. So no parameters on this one since we um, we'll just be using the prototype. Um, let's stored source equal game dot get object by id creep memory source. Um, if there's a stored source and it's um, has an open position, or the creep's already in position. So this right here is a um, one of the objects of um, Find the guy. There we go. So here's the documentation. We're going to go to root position. There's a function called is near to, um, and you can pass it either an x y value or the target, and it has to be in range one to return true. So in this case, if the creep is currently in position. Um, or there's an open position of that source, it's going to return true and tell the creep to go harvest that um, stored source. And if it's not in range and this returns true, uh, false, um, well, if this returns error not in range, then it's going to move towards it. Um, The second part do so the second part here so if there is no stored source it's going to go ahead and try to find an energy source and delete the existing source so i want to change this up a little bit um, this has a return type of source so change this guy I'm going to actually reverse this so if there's no stored source or um, So if this returns false or null or there's no open positions and the creep's not in range, then I want it to delete any previous memory source and then um, stored. So find energy source is going to return a a source object, and set the memory dot source to the source dot id. So we want um, stored source to equal creep dot find energy source because it's going to return right there. And then what we're going to do. So now if there's a stored source, um, uh, 
we're going to flip this around. So instead of calling the, the harvest object, and which costs 0.2 CPU, and then evaluating the response, we're going to do if uh, creep dot is near to stored source, then we're going to harvest. else we're going to move to it and this visualize path is optional if you'd like to keep that go ahead uh, otherwise you, you don't actually need it I'm going to clean this up a little bit the other thing we're going to have to fix is any any reference to creep needs to be changed to this So I'm just going to change all those quickly. All right. And um, this stuff, find energy source, that's right. Now in here, anywhere where it's going to be harvesting energy, we're just going to change it to creep dot harp. Let's make sure I have that name right. Harvest energy, yep. And uh, add the parentheses to make it a function. And save and see if the builders are still working. Uh, creep is not defined. In creep.harvest energy, um, line 20. Yep. So that's this. Save. This dot is near to is not a function. Okay. What was the line on that one? Creep function is 26. This position is near to. So let's fix that. All right. Looks like that's working. So the builders sh should now um, be working off that function instead of the. Um, the previous code and this is nice because instead of updating uh, each one of these files we can just update this function and create some sort of uh, templating so let's go over to harvester and we'll put in this guy here we'll probably have to implement this working logic as well into the harvester logic but for right now it's probably all right make sure it's all working still yep all right so that's how you implement um, sort of like a generic action call uh, and create a prototype template for it so that you can call it for multiple creeps. And we'll be doing with this with all kinds of different functions. Um, in the next video, we'll probably be creating a function for uh, filling up this tower, filling up these extensions so we have more energy to work with in our creeps. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down in the, below in the description if you have specific questions or uh, reach out on the Scroops World Forms. Thanks for watching.